Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwick Ladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at the Tangle Sparkle because we all need a little extra sparkle. Um, uh, this is by CZT Sharon Caforio. Uh, this is cute. All right. And I was, I, I was looking for something on the not so complicated side. And I think I have found it. All right. The, and just rather neat. Okay. This, uh, this one starts off with a seed shape. So that is, if you don't know, curve line going one direction. And if you are not, uh, confident with your curves, just turn your paper and do the same thing using the natural curve of your hand because if you put the heel of your hand down and then just let it pivot and don't think about it and and do this and turn the paper eventually like i i'll <laughs> well no you might never get good I, I i let me take that back you might be excellent at doing it this way sometimes i'm like oh i'll just do it then i don't i'm not gonna flip the paper and, and sometimes i regret it <laughs> so you, your, your, your results may vary. <laughs> so <laughs> anyway, I share that as just a hint. Cause I know I, I, you know, I talked to several people. They're like, Oh, the curves, Oh, anything curvy, forget about it. So that is one thing to think about. Just use that curve. All right, next. And you can do this next part as big or as small as you want up to you. I'm going to go medium, just putting an orb center ish in that seed. All right, then now if you have done the tangle well, this is going to seem very familiar. Um, and, but I don't, this might predate well, because I was looking in, uh, just I, I was skimming the, the description here on tangle patterns. And by the way, you can, you can do the same. Uh, the link is in the description section. And also, I mean, take a look at the neat, um, samples, uh, that Sharon has just, you know, gives great ideas for things you can do with this. All right. So we're going to use mm, kind of the takeoff and land concept. And, and that is, if you're not familiar, I'm going to uh, draw a little bit over the orb tracing over this line and I'm aiming for here. So like, this is the little, the little runway and we take off and then we, land. well, this is kind of more of a crash landing. <laughs> Because we don't we don't um, trace over anything at the other end. That's that's really the takeoff and land concept. Now, you can we're gonna do this kind of to the four sides, and you can have a little curve in it. That one I don't know why it didn't. And then here, just to the side, same thing here, like so. All right, and you know what? That kind of looks neat the way it is. Um, but then, but wait, there's more. Uh, you know, let me start. Well, I guess it's not going to matter. So what we're going to do is we're going to continue making this shape um, in each section. So starting here, and then this is one where just remember where you started, which direction, because so this one went this way. So I'm going to start again here. It's kind of like, well, sort of like orang until, until the pen decides, I'm going to go south. Like that. That one I don't have too much to fill in. This one though, and the reason I wanted to say, you know, remember which way you went, because as I was playing with it, I'm like, oh, well, I could, oh, no, 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 that's not the right way to go on there. So it's, remember whatever line you had, right? And then it's like we're re, sort of redoing it, kind of coming out of the same space, sort of. <laughs> this one, I, I am kind of, I'm traveling up this line as we go. And really, I don't have to start all the way from here. You can start just a little ways in. I'm, I'm having trouble. I'm missing that line. There we go. And it doesn't matter because then this just looks like pen shading. All right. And then you just work your way around and it's the same thing. Now, of course, your results are going to vary on this anyway, because your seed might be a little bit different shape than mine. You know, I'm thinking, gosh, if I had done it just a little bit fatter, I'd have a little bit more room. <laughs> but look at how cool it's looking. It, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. However, it turns out. Just keep going with it. 
And then two, you you get to decide, um, you know, how far apart these lines are, things like that. And I am tracing over a little bit because I want it to have that feel versus just doing a curve line all the way up. There's a little, there's, it's weird, but there is a little bit of a difference. And there we go. And as you can see, the pen did a nice job of shading it. And uh, let me, and, and we're going to, we're going to play a little bit more with this as well. But so for shading, I would just accentu accentuate that. Oh, look at that. And I'll just work my way around. Now, depending, and I, I'm, I'm going to add more to this. Um, you could maybe do this outside. So then, oh, you know, I think I'm going to, I just had this thought. But I'm not going to share it. <laughs> I'm going to use this in my uh, shading class tomorrow, I think. Because I have this, I get I get lots of great ideas at the last minute. And I like this because it, it shows some different things. So then what do you do with this? Okay, like, oh, that's nice. All right. But you can just add to it. So for instance, oh, let me start this way. I'm going to start at this point. And you don't have to. I mean, you could have them scattered. Oh, and I'm going to do another thin one, apparently. Oh, no, there we go. Ooh, I'm going to go right woo, on the edge. That's not what I had in my mind, but that's okay. You know, and then two, well, no, could you, yeah, you could, you could do these in the opposite direction. It's up to you. So like this, this is, I did this, you know, on that way. Let's, let's, uh, well, actually, you know, it's not going to, well, wait, I was going to say, I don't know that it's going to matter, but let's just do it. <laughs> and the idea is whatever direction you go, just keep going in that direction so that way we're not crossing any lines it says that if that makes sense so for instance if i did this this way i don't want to do that i don't want to do it on the same side and that's why it's sometimes it's easier to do one and then just go all the way around versus i kind of did a north south just because it's kind of a habit habity type of thing um up to you we all work different and that's what's so fun is that you are not stuck doing it the way I do it just because it's like, well, just because. <laughs> oh, that's why I like to share lots of options. I'm sure I drive some people crazy. When I teach music lessons, I do the same thing. I'm like, oh, that, that analogy didn't work. Just wait. And let me pull another one out of my mental quiver. <laughs> Something will work. And see, like I said, the act of just tracing over a little bit as if, as if I'm coming all the way from that end. Oh, and then I just have to remember this one is a long one. And one thing to be careful of is where there's a lot of ink, you can accidentally, you know, put your finger in it and smudge it all over the place. Um... Or like I was feeling my, I was feeling the, the resistance in the paper, um, just on the pen. Let's try a little bit fatter one like that. See when I do it that when I'm not using the curve of my hand, you can see how both sides turn out almost completely different. <laughs> now I'm, I'm keeping my little orbs a little bit, um, on the smaller side. Uh, again, when you look at, um, Sharon's step out, you'll see she does a much bigger and, uh, yeah, you can just have a lot of fun with that. All right. And I'm going to do this the way that it feels comfortable, which is this way. You know what? I'm also, I'm aiming for that exact center and missing <laughs> just a little bit. And I'm thinking, well, maybe, maybe don't, don't. Okay. I'm, I, I didn't aim for it on purpose. Let's just see what happens. And then two, kind of like wherever I've landed, I could just start right there. Oh, 
Is it in two you could have fun with how uh, far apart these lines are? You know, having having them you know closer together or not. <laughs> and I ju just realized this is kind of well. Okay, in my mind, uh, it could be an analogy too, because today you know we had the uh, um, eclipse. The the um, I always forget which one it is, but anyway, we had the eclipse. <laughs> well, I guess it was a solar eclipse because I well I don't know which direction they count. I should look it up, um, and I should know this off the top of my head because everybody has been like talking about it, right? But this could be you know you think of this like like the the you know, like a shutter on a camera or um, if you made a pinhole box or something like that. I don't know because these also can kind of look like eyes. Um, if they were done a different way. <laughs> I think you could make them creepy if you wish to. Let's see. I'm just going to do one more. Because it's, it's just fun. And it's just, I'm finding it very soothing. It's just, it's just nice. And I'm going to, I was thinking, oh, I should make one. No, I'm just going to, I'm going to be consistent. Now I'm debating. I could, uh, you know, turn that center in to... A nice shiny orb which would be neat and go with the name of sparkle and actually oh and, and it was inspired by by jewelry I also I love the story uh, that they um, Sharon tells because it's it's similar to uh, my mom and me where we, you know we did the CZT training together that was I saw that one going oh how nice but there's a kind of opposite. I think she said her daughter was into it before or introduced her to it, where in our case, it's the opposite. But just super cool. All right. And I will shade these as well. And while I'm doing this, if you're enjoying it, and one of the things about tangles like this is sometimes you need to take a little finger break, sometimes an eyeball break, and go focus on something far away so that your eyes aren't crossing. While you're stretching, feel free to click on the like button if you are enjoying it. And if you like it enough to see more, would love to have you be a subscriber to the channel. I've got to, I have got this one little gap, and I would do this, and then I, well, let's, let's hope I don't regret. Nope, that looks better with it. Okay. Um, yeah, we'd we'll love to have you be a subscriber to the channel. Uh, I, I mentioned the description section where you will find links to the step outs. Now I always do my own version and then link to the creator of the tangle. So you'll find those. And then below that is a link to my link tree, which houses everything like all social media, website, all of that kind of thing and more. Uh, it's like it is pretty self-explanatory. These are just, you know, what? maybe I'll just do two. Let's do. Um, I haven't shaded them yet. Let's do this one, and then if I like it, I can do more. Oh, let's just do with that instead of the little shine. Oh, I like it. But sometimes it's fun to just do something a little bit different. Don't You don't have to do the same thing in each one. It's just kind of fun. All right. I this. Wow. What? How neat. How neat. I love it when I when I find a tangle and and then it's neater after doing it than I thought it would be. I always just love that when that happens. OK, um, just to mention. Uh, well, I did briefly mention a class that I am doing tomorrow. If you are interested in classes, I do teach twice weekly. Uh, a lot of them are free. Like we could, t I think I might, I think I would might, I think I might pair this with something if I was to have done this on our Tangle Time sessions. But the Tangle Time is just where I take a tangle or two, just depends, and uh, we just play with it. Share the step out. And it's, yeah, we're, it's, it's a, a big tangle party is what it is really. Um, so if you're interested in something like that, come and join us. The there are several places where you can follow me for classes. And so those are all on there. 
it's funny I'm like where's my where where am I shading there I was getting it on the wrong side just because of the way it uh, it was looking um, and then I do have some classes that are that have a fee like the uh, more fun with sh uh, shading uh, session that is tomorrow and you can always access the replays. I always give everyone access to both the AM and the PM sessions because everything I do, I do two sessions uh, for the most part. I think there was one time that just because of schedule or something, I had to change and um, I might have only offered one of the tangle times. I don't remember, but uh, I do my best to look at how cool that is uh, to offer it, you know, both times. Let's put a little graphite out here because I mentioned, if, especially if you have it big enough, well, I guess we're going to have to do all of it. Let's see if we can not have graphite remorse. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. So this is the other fun thing about doing stuff kind of in set in in phases i guess you'd say i should have left one of them without because that would have been interesting and even though this uh, it does look rather great there is still light like it's still light right here right here oh and then i i can show you a, uh, another secret i think i'm going to do that well let's see let's do the bigger ones so again so this is just very carefully on the perimeter and same thing with the tortillon, really more of a back and forth motion because I, I just want to make a gradient, not um, spread it too far out. And then let me show you something in case you're worried about that graphite remorse. Just look at the, in, it's just interesting. Just adding that on the outside. And I do think, I think, I, I think that the having the, having the uh, inside filled in, it does make a difference. Although, you know what? Let's do this. Let's just, I, I want to keep them different because I want to keep them different. <laughs> let's see if I'm, I'm aiming it this way. Let's just do like that where we just put, a, and then if I don't like it, then I can just fill. No, that really doesn't do an effect, does it? You know where you do you you do a circle and you just kind of fill in a little gap and then it makes it look like it's um, like a hole. Huh. Nope. All right. Never mind. We'll just fill them all in. <laughs> That's the beauty. Okay. There. Actually, that just that alone makes a difference. But these two having the shading all around these two don't. Hmm. Could probably go a little darker, and maybe I shall, but maybe not with the pencil. I tell you what, though, so I'm doing this shading class tomorrow, and half the time I give a lot of these. It's not as if they're secrets. We do a lot of this, but it's all spread out. It just depends on the tangle and what I'm doing. <laughs> How neat, huh? All right, and if you happen to have a white charcoal pencil, and even though I'm working on white, yeah, if you have one. If you have one handy, I should say. <laughs> oh, here it is. <laughs> I mean, because I mean, they, they do have, have depth, oh, but let's, we have to do something in here. Actually, I was thinking to uh, I could aura it with um, the pen. Whoops, sorry. But yeah, it's more fun to I don't know. Maybe I'm just in a thing lately to wipe off your you know your great your tortillon, make good use of of the graphite <laughs> like that. All right. So if you want just a little extra, and even though, like I said, this is a white tile, although, I mean, it's a little off-white, here is a something you can do. It's not going to show up. Oh, yes, it is. I was going to say, it's not going to show up too much. Hmm. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. I get so tickled with this stuff. Oh, that is so cool. I'm not sure what to do with the other ones. I'm just going to leave it like that because I think that looks neat. Because if I go this way, you're not cutting across to any of the black lines. And so you don't see it. Now, you could, if you want, if you wanted to do this uh, like planned, you just leave a gap. And then we call, we actually call that sparkle um, as a tangle enhancer. But, um, oh, how neat is that? All right. <laughs> I have taken a lot of time with this seemingly simple tangle, but oh my gosh, what fun. All right. Well, I hope you have enjoyed it. And I, oh, right there. I already said all of this stuff. So thank you again so much for watching and I wish you happy tangling. <laughs>